day 76. I want to try to recap this day because it was a glorious one and I really appreciate all of the people who have played roles in this day and all of the, the moments that have happened. So let's try to run through it real quick or maybe not so quick. We'll, we'll figure that out as we go. Woke up around 9 a.m. It was great. Slept in on Saturday morning. Wrote, was feeling inspired. So I wrote a post about Great Morning, which is my friend Ellen Kem's uh, program. Just It's their way to make people happy. It's a Zoom call, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time on every weekday. And I'm very excited about that because it's really got me energized and feeling great. And it's just an incredible start to your day. So I wrote about a piece about that, posted that, then went to brunch with my friend Doug Cartwright. Doug Cartwright is he's a, he's a mystic and he's a sales dude. And he, he loves to watch sports and he loves to meditate. And so he's all over the place in the best way. And he, it was when, when Doug Cartwright tells a story, you know it's going to be a good one. And he was telling me a few stories that I really appreciated it. And we're, it was awesome to reconnect with him after a few months, catch each other up on our lives. Went from that to listening to a podcast that my friend Jack Moses did with Doug Cartwright. And what was fascinating about that was the first question that Jack asked is about white rabbits. And it's referencing a scene in the Matrix and the white rabbit has played a critical role in Doug's life so much so that he got tattooed on the back of his shoulder. And... I'm walking after my my brunch with Doug and at the actual halfway mark, right where I'm about to turn around after 25 minutes, I see a a sign that says Black Rabbit. (laughs) It's like, (laughs) what are the odds of this? So I texted that to my friend Jack Moses. He says that's a, a very important, timely message that I'm sending him. And I just found that very fascinating. So after the walk, um, I was watching some Little League baseball. And I just got this feeling that I needed to go to a, a sound bath. So I did. I went to a sound bath. And as I'm going there, I decided like 20 minutes before I actually got there and I arrived just when it, the class was beginning. See my friends Ian and Cole. They're there as well. It's like, wow. That is fascinating that I just got this intuitive urge to go to the sound bath. Then after the sound bath is over, pull a tarot card with my friends, Ian and Cole. And last night I pulled a tarot card. I said, new beginnings. And this, this tarot card that I pulled with them said fertility. I actually haven't read what fertility means in this context. Through this card, the manifestation of growth is on the horizon. You're the creator and the seeds that have been planted in the past, whether they were happiness, comfort, abundance, prosperity, family, children, ideas, or even thoughts are now ready to give birth into your world. Be patient as you watch your seeds take root and grow, nurture, them as they become strong and healthy. Open yourself to the life force of the universe. This card also represents the femininity and Mother Earth who is calling to you. 
The arms of her beauty are reaching out. She wants to embrace you on her seashores, mountains, forests, and gardens. Go to her and meet her halfway. Acknowledge that the same energy that makes up the heavens, earth, plants, animals, and mineral kingdom is also part of you. Start nurturing yourself and infuse your soul in love with compassion. Soon, others will see and feel your devotion. As you interact with others around you now, or even if you're in the midst of solving a problem, use gentle care and kindness as you handle such situations. This isn't a time for you to be inconsiderate, possessive, domineer, domineering, forceful, or pushy. Act from the loving space of your heart center. The benevolent energy <clears throat> that resides there will assist you in making sacrifices in order to care for and help others as well as yourself. So, fertility, new beginnings, something's a brewing in the best of ways. And pulled that card was just smiled about it. Went to pick up some food, groceries. Then had a feeling that would love to see my friend Jack Sweeney, who is who has been uh, away for some time. Shout out Jack. And then he texts me and says, "Hey, dude, want to meet up?" I said, "Yeah, I was just thinking that actually." And five, ten minutes later, I go see him. We have some tea. It was great, amazing conversation. Come home, run five miles. Um, then made myself two sweet potatoes and two pounds of ground beef. Now watching UFC. What a life. Real life. What a life. So it's now 11.25. It's late making this video. I still need to meditate today to keep my streak alive, even though the sound bath was meditation. And I just meditated earlier by just being on the balcony for a little bit. Regardless, I'm having so much fun with life. I'm so grateful for each moment. Another thing that I did in the sound bath that might be interesting or insightful in some ways that I tried to begin every sentence with, I love. So if a thought popped up and it wasn't, I love, I love Mountain Valley water. I love, I went through... I actually went through each person in my family one by one by one. Dad, mom, brother, cousin, 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 aunt, uncle, grandparent, grandparent, grandparent. I went through each person and then I went through friends and then I went through the place I live. Then I went through Austin, Texas. Then I went through um, Texas as a whole. Then I went through the United States and I just thought of each each sentence I started was just trying to start. I love, I love Austin, Texas. I love the United States. I love where I live. I love what I do. I love Mountain Valley water. I love money. I love creating. I love people. So every sentence was I love. And I did that for maybe 45 minutes straight. It's an amazing meditation. I came out of that feeling high. Could be interesting to do. What you appreciate grows. Mm. So overall, very jam-packed day. A lot happening. A lot of amazing, amazing moments, which I'm excited to just continue living in and feel very grateful for all the growth and the new beginnings. Because... Life is unfolding in a magical way, and uh, I'm grateful to play a part in it. I also love that over the next couple of weeks, I got 50 people who are just friends or people on Twitter who are just reaching out and book calls with me to talk one-on-one. -on -one. So one thing that came through in that meditation was to potentially record my version of the call, my side of the call, 
through an external device and maybe chop those up into clips. I think that would be really awesome. Mm. That's pretty much it. I love you so much. I'm grateful for you watching and I'm looking forward to the next video. I'm looking forward to the next day. I'm loving life and I hope you are too. Be well. Peace.